Now we're moving along with mixed operations with fractions. So in this we may need to consider our order of operations and even in the first question we need to do this. We've got an addition and we've got a multiplication and we need to decide which goes first. And you'll remember back in previous modules we have a, we have a stair st type structure that says that multiplication has to be done before addition. So let's get rid of that uh, mixed number first and then we'll do the multiplication. So it will be 2 thirds plus 1 4 is 4, 7 over 4 times by 8 over 9. Now we need to do this part first. Uh, I'll highlight this bit first. So we can simplify this a little bit before we actually multiply. 4 goes into 8 twice and 4 goes into 4 once. So this is becoming 2 thirds plus now 7 2 is 14 and 1 times 9 is 9. Now we've got a situation where we, we're back to addition. So we have to think about our denominator very carefully. We need to go for a common denominator. The denominators are not the same at the moment, but they are similar. We can use one of those denominators and we can use the ninths. And we can rewrite the other one in terms of ninths. We need to times 3 by 3 to get 9. So we have to times 2 by 3 as well, which is 6 ninths. So now performing the addition, this becomes 20 ninths, which is equal to 2 and 2 ninths. Question 2. This time we've got a square to do. Now we're only squaring, so we need to just multiply by itself. Order of operations say that exponents have to be done long before subtraction. But first of all, let's take um, these mixed numbers and change them into improper fractions. So 2 5 is 10 and 4 is 14 over 5. Subtract 4 over 3 squared. Now we don't need to actually write this out as 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. We can just we can just do that as 4 squared, which is 16, over 3 squared, which is 9. Now we have to go for a common denominator because we're subtracting, and when you add and subtract, you need a common denominator. And the lowest number that 5 and 9 goes into is 45. 5 was times by 9, so 14 has to be times by 9, and that gives us 126. 9 is times by 5, so 16 is times by 5, and that makes 80. So, what's our answer? It's still 40 fifths. 126 take 80 makes 46, which is equal to 1 and 1 45th. And our third question. We've got some brackets here, and brackets are the very first priority. So we need to do what's in the brackets first, and then we need to do the multiplication. So this becomes 3 quarters times, now I'll retain the brackets while we do this. Uh, 1 and 3 sevenths is 10 over 7, plus 2, 3, 6, 7, 8 over 3. So that becomes 3 quarters times by. Now inside the brackets here we need to go for a common denominator of 21. So that's times by 3. So the 10 has to be times by 3 to get 30. And 3 was times by 7. So 8 has to be times by 7 which is 56. So this is now 3 quarters multiplied by 30 plus 56 is 86 over 21. Now because we're multiplying we can use some ideas that we've learnt before. We can simplify. So we've got uh, 
a few here that we can utilize. We can go that three goes into three once and three goes into 21 seven times. And we can also go, although it's not going to make a lot of difference, but two will go into four twice and two will go into 86 43 times. So when you multiply this out, one times 43 is 43 and two times seven is 14. Now writing that back as a mixed number, 14 goes into 43 three whole times. And what are three 14? So that's 42, so there's one left over. So it's three and one fourteenth.